I just wanted to ask you guys something. What is up with this lighting? It looks like some glow in the resorts world. You have all these computer logos and everything. Something kind of weird about resorts world. What? What is this? It's like some reflective um, computer background screen that's in resorts world. It looks kind of weird. Unbelievable. You know, this is one of the things I really like about this area. It's just all these unique and strange things. It's pretty interesting to see. You see all these like computer icons and then a beach background where somebody's running. Still quite dead even though the casinos are about to open. We're on Convention Center and the Boulevard. Well, speaking of Resorts World, believe it or not, and I've told you this about several months ago, that this revolutionary mass transit system coming from the boring company, Elon Musk, which is planned to extend not just in the new convention center, but all over the tourist zones, they are now considering the tunnels to be brought out towards Wynn and Resorts World. And this is some really, really exciting news. You know me, I am certainly a huge proponent of mass transit, especially if it's cost efficient to build and in terms of speed, efficiency and so forth. And I can tell you the people mover system is a certainly a step forward when it comes to mass transit over the light rail, bus, monorail, whatever because we really do not have a true mass transit system in the area. And hopefully as the convention center opens, it can move people around much more effectively. People are excited about the innovation and pretty soon we're gonna have the resorts world open in a matter of time. I believe it's gonna be in 2021. So we can see a lot more congestion being alleviated over time. Let's go down to the article. You can see the maps right here. The commissioner Sickerbloom tweeted an image about connecting the convention center towards Resorts World. And he said, Elon Musk, he's been working on a people mover transit system underneath the convention center. You can see the second tunnel is being work in progress, which will create a 1.4 mile loop. I can't wait to ride it. And they've actually talked about, like I've mentioned before, the Strip Airport to downtown. You can see all these tunnels. You can't stop Vegas. And it's supposed to be finished by January of 2021. And the Convention and Visitor Authority for much of the work through room taxes and recent shows that although budget challenges are ahead, but certainly people are gonna work very, very hard to make sure that this innovation comes through. So what do you guys think? Is this gonna be an exciting move forward? And keep in mind, if I continue to spread the word about my future projects, the neighborhoods I wanna design, we can extend this opportunity into those areas several miles away. So a lot of opportunities ahead. Hey, everybody. I just wanted to show you something. Look at the view from the Ogden Tower, I believe that's what it's called, or I think it was called the Streamline Tower, I'm not sure. But look at this nice view. You got the view of Fremont Street, the east end of the so-called Experience. You got the view of a lot of these other taller structures, and you got the view of all the way of the other residential towers like Turnberry, the Drew, Resorts World, Stratosphere, the Trump Tower. This is pretty, pretty nice. And the condos I heard are not that expensive. I think they should build more and fill in all these empty blocks of land as you can see right there. And then look at this right here. There's no fourth floor. And then there's also no 13th and 14th floor. Wow, 